I love the world of exotic dancing because you can be free to be exactly who you are. There's an energy that comes out of your body when you dance. When I'm on stage, you guys seem mesmerized by me. I moved to Las Vegas with the promise of being able to make it in the exotic dance industry. I definitely look up to Amber Rose, Black China, Cardi B. I think that they definitely are voicing some things that need to be voiced. Just because we strip doesn't make us any less than anybody else. We're powerful women. My parents absolutely hate the fact that I like dancing. They don't find it a respectable way to support me and my kid. My mom and I fight about the fact that I'm not giving my daughter the life she deserves because I'm being a stripper and continually move around. My mom and I got into a heated argument one night and I finally admitted to her how I was getting things for me and my daughter by having a sugar daddy. My parents kicked me out in six inches of snow as well as my daughter without knowing whether I had anywhere to go. So I had been talking to this guy online and he promised me that he could make me a model and he could put me in videos. So we moved out to Vegas with him. He had connections. He knew everything and everybody, but the thing was, he was a total fraud. I ended up walking here, right on the strip, um, prostituting for him. I got away from him and I went to a homeless shelter with my daughter and I've been stuck there. My parents are both therapists, but they're phony because they can go to work every day and help other people and yet they turn their own back on me. You are a fraud. How can you sit up here and act like you're a therapist? You turned your back on me. You kicked me out in the snow. I didn't want to get out of Vegas. I called you crying several times, telling you, help us get out of here. What did you say to me? What did you say? You got yourself out there. You figure it out. I'm a liar? No, you are a liar. You're a fraud. You cannot possibly be helping anybody as a therapist, when you lead a double life, what is wrong with you? How can you do that? You left us in Vegas. So how can you sit up here, look me in the face, and act like somebody you're not? You are a fraud. I'm a liar, you're a liar. And we're all gonna see that today. You wanna bring me on here like I'm a bad person? I support my kids, and I'm not changing that. For you, for anybody. I'm a sugar baby, guess what? It's gonna stay that way. There's nothing wrong with that. You are a liar. So we're all putting the laundry on the table today. I'm not backing down. It's time for everybody to see who you are, mom. Or should I call you that? Because I'm a mom, and you know what? I wouldn't leave my daughter in a homeless shelter. I'm a bad parent. Guess what? I'm not the one who had to come to Dr. Phil. How many times have I been investigated? I was taken from you. My daughter's never been taken from me, all the while being a stripper. So what's wrong with it? Nothing. You live in a box. It's not 1950 anymore. There's nothing wrong with being a stripper. What there is something wrong with is being a fraud, which is what you are. Jessica, and I'm, I'm I don't so, care whoa, 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 what you whoa, have to whoa. say. Hold on, hold on. No, Dr. Phil, this has to stop. How can you be a therapist and you have to be on Dr. Phil? What so, kind of therapist needs that? Really, who needs that? So, don't you have a degree? Hold on. Do you have a degree? Hold on, hold on. Do you have a degree, Mom? Hold on. You can't look me in the face, right? Hold you know on. why? Because you're a liar. Hold on. Can you look your grandchild in the face? Hold you on. You love her. Do you really love her? Hold Do you on. really love her? You left us in Vegas. No, I didn't want to leave. Hey, you, you don't, you're not going to come out here and filibuster. No, no, Dr. Phil. They need to be exposed. Well, I'll they decide what this. they need to do and what they don't need to do. Well, they need to stop what